guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on this design right here i saw lots of different ladies especially russian nail techs do these three-dimensional flowers and i really wanted to give them a go myself and branch out a little bit more in my freehand nail art so if you're interested in a closer look at everything i did to complete this look then just keep on watching So moving right on with this tutorial and my very first step is to go ahead and add a layer of Kiki London base coat to my middle finger. I added it to all of the nails but I started with the middle finger because I am going to be doing the sprinkling method with some gorgeous iridescent glitter so I didn't want it to get on the other nails. So first I started by applying it to the middle and then I went in with this gorgeous glitter by Nail Sugar and it's called Sugar Baby and it's a really beautiful iridescent pink. So I just sprinkled this on the wet gel and then I tapped off the excess and cured that for 60 seconds. Then my next step was to go ahead and use this Kiki London PK05 which is a beautiful neon pink and I applied two coats of this to the rest of the nails drying each coat for 30 seconds in between each layer. Next, I went ahead and sealed in my base colours with a layer of Kiki London top coat and again I cured that for a full cure which is 30 seconds in an LED light. So once I wiped away the sticky layer of the gel, I'm now going in with the Rubloff Number no. 4 Kalinske Gel Brush and the Ink London 3D Gel in white. And I'm starting doing my petals for my flowers. So for this three-dimensional look, it's basically just adding layers. So the first layer is going to be this 3D gel and I cured each layer for 60 seconds. Then my next layer was to add a little bit of colour to my flowers, so I used PK05 again and I mixed it with some gel top coat to get a really thin consistency so I had more of a wash as opposed to adding colour. Then I used a tiny brush and started dispersing that throughout the middle of the floral, leaving the outside white. And then for the middle of my flower, I used Kiki London Black Pool, which is a really gorgeous, highly pigmented black gel polish. And I added a little blob of that to the middle and then used a tiny little brush and sort of did little lines. Now, the middle doesn't matter whatsoever because I am going to be adding little crystals, but I wanted um, those black lines and a a sort of like three-dimensional look to my flower so I did these lines first but again the middle does not matter at all then to add detail to the nail I'm using a Rubloff number no. 10 really tiny brush and then the sugar gel from indigo nails and I'm outlining my florals with this um, just take your time lay your hand on something flat and follow the shape of your flower and at this point if you do not want your petals to look more rounded I wanted mine to have more of a spike look to them so I went ahead and added little details so it was easier to add like the spike of the flower as opposed to a more rounded petal Next, I went ahead and popped that into my UV lamp for two minutes and completely cured that white gel. I then top coated it twice and now I'm going in with my Ink London nail buffer and I'm just completely smoothing out the surface of that nail so I could go ahead and add more without the nail looking too bulky. Now I'm going in with Kiki London Yellow Tar and I'm doing the exact same with this colour as I did with the black. So adding a little blob of that colour into the centre and then slowly dragging it to the start of the petals. And I'm doing the exact same with the white but this time at the top. And I'm using my finger to sort of mute the colours so I have more of a glassy look as opposed to too much white. Do I, baby, why do I love the way 
Then I used the sugar gel again to outline that flowers so the outside of the petals had a more three dimensional look and then I went ahead and top coated that nail and cured that for 30 seconds. Then once I wiped away the sticky layer, I took that sugar effect gel from Indigo Nails and I outlined the nail again and before I cured it, I went ahead and added some clear acrylic powder by Ink London to that nail for a 3D look. And then I tapped off the excess and cured that for two minutes in an LED light. So now for my bling nail, I've been using some Swarovski crystals in AB, some silver caviar beads, my blue sky decor gel and also my crystal katana. So I start by adding a V-shape on the ring finger and then over that wet decor gel, I add a layer of top coat and I attach the crystals to that. And I've really found that it, is, it absolutely surrounds the crystals with a layer of gel and it really has amazing stain power. So this is my new way of attaching some crystals and I'm actually really liking it. If you guys would like to see a complete how I get my Swarovski crystals to stick, then I could do that video for you guys, no problem at all. So yeah, I'm adding that a V-shape and then I go ahead and just maneuver those crystals and beads until I'm happy with the shape and then I cure that and now I go in and wash my hands, apply my hand cream, sanitize my nails and now I'm going in with some homemade cuticle oil and I'm really working that into the skin to add a little bit more moisture back to the skin. So guys, as you can see, I went ahead and added some caviar beads to the outside of those Swarovski crystals and I did the same to the middle of that flower and then I added little beads of clear builder gel to the flower for a little raindrop effect. So I really hope you enjoyed my take on Russian manicures. I have saw so many ladies do it and it's definitely not the best but I was super proud of it and I hope you guys liked how it turned out. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up, I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie, I am a complete nail polish addict. And on this channel, you will find everything from nail art, to swatches, reviews and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that notifications bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!